Good. All right, let's get started. And to, today I have standing with me a, a city council member, Carolyn Evan Shabazz of District uh, D, and a council member, Edward Pollard of District J. Uh, I'm pleased to have Harris County Commissioner Rodney Ellis from Precinct 1, uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee is present as well. Uh, and then there's Angelica Razzo from Me Familia, uh, Yvonne uh, Smith from the NAACP, Bishop James Dixon, also one of the officers of the NAACP, and you'll be hearing from him a little bit later on. Let me just say for the media and for those watching from home uh, this afternoon, we will, we'll first discuss an exciting billboard campaign to increase voter participation in honor of the late Congressman Mickey Leland. Uh, and this announcement will be followed by our update on COVID-19 uh, in our community and, and Dr. Purse and uh, Chief Pena are also here for that report. 31 years ago, and uh, Commissioner Ellis, quite frankly, doesn't seem that long ago. 31 years ago on August 7th, 1989, George Thomas Mickey Leland uh, died in a plane crash during one of his humanitarian missions. And Mickey was a fighter for justice, and he cared about the poor, the hungry, those disenfranchised. He believed everyone, but especially people from vulnerable and historically overlooked communities, should have a voice and the power of the vote. And in April, I was proud to join uh, Commissioner Rodney Ellis uh, when a statue and others, when a statue honoring Mickey Leland was unveiled in Herman Park. And let me just give a great deal of credit to Commissioner Ellis for making that, for making that happen. Mickey was a global humanitarian who devoted his life uh, to helping others, and he is worthy uh, of this statue. And quite frankly, all of us here today standing, standing on his shoulders. And today I'm pleased to see that a new billboard campaign is being launched in Mickey's memory. And as the billboard says, Mickey worked for change, be part of the process, and vote. Uh, we are 83 days from the November 3rd election, and it is important that every voter participate in the process. Uh, and as Houstonians and Americans, each one of us has a civic duty to cast a ballot for the person or persons of our choice. And each one of us has a stake in what happens in our city and in our country and county uh, and quite frankly, all over. On August 6th this year, one day after the anniversary of Mickey's tragic death, we mark the 55th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act and we should also vote to honor that significant legislation and Congressman uh, John Lewis who, is passed, who passed away recently. We may feel helpless at times because we can't control the pandemic or other issues like jobs and housing, but as proud Houstonians, we do have the power to vote. And I wanna thank uh, Clear Channel and Lee Vella uh, for generously donating five neighborhood poster panels and five large free freeway type bulletins so people can see this message all over the city. But let me stop and let me bring on Commissioner Rodney Ellis, who has been a champion on so many, many issues. And I know Mickey is certainly proud because uh, he was mentored uh, by, by Mickey Leland. Commissioner. Thank you all. Thank you, Mayor. And uh, thank you for the use of a city park. Uh, you and I both have gotten in a bit of controversy as we have uh, sought to correct history and take a few statutes and street signs down. Uh, and we both agreed it's important not only that we reflect history appropriately, but we also seek to memorialize people who've made a difference in our community. So this statute was a joint city county effort. We're doing many of them under your leadership. Uh, it is in Herman Park next to the. Uh, Miller Outdoor Theater, the Congresswoman, the Bishop, and others were there, Reverend Lawson was there as well. It was a socially distanced dedication uh, because of COVID-19, but uh, a good friend of, uh, of the Congressman's, Charles Bush, called up and said that he wanted to uh, help facilitate getting billboards up so people would know that that statute is there. So I know Charles is watching from Dallas, so I wanna thank him. 
Uh, and he asked me to reach out to Lee Vella, of course, who always comes through. Clear Channel is such a great uh, corporate partner, but uh, he wanted the Hispanic community and the African American community and the Jewish community to be involved. It's too close to the election, uh, so the group that was gonna sign on to these billboards from the Jewish community could not do it, but Mi Familia and the NAACP did this jointly, so give them a round of applause. And Lee Vella did it for them. Uh, we had other friends who were on that flight. Patrice Johnson, her family might be watching. I sent her mother a nice note. Mayor, she's gonna have a, another birthday, a hi historic one. I think it's gonna be that nine old pretty soon, so I'll work with you, send a resolution. But look, Texas has some of the most restrictive voter laws in the country. There are a lot of barriers that put in place to make it difficult for people to vote. Over Harris County, we just decided to create an Office of Elections Administrator to try to put more of a focus on registration and running elections as efficiently as possible. If we were going to encourage people to go and see a statute, I thought the Congressman Patrice and all of the individuals on that flight, Congresswoman Jackson Lee, I think about 16. I'm not looking at my notes because I can't see them with a mask that protects you all today. Uh, but all of those people were working on a humanitarian mission 31 years ago, so we thought it was appropriate. If we're going to encourage you to go and see the statute, that we tie it in with a social justice message. So that we did. So thank you very much. Now, Mayor, if I might deviate, because we may need him again, I'm going to let Lee Vella say a word. Thank, thank you so much, Commissioner. Uh, Mayor Turner, thank you so much. Congresswoman Lee, council members. Um, it's, it's our pleasure as Clear Channel Outdoor to, uh, to donate these boards to this effort that, um, that reminds people it is their right to go out and vote. And in a, just a few, few days, we'll be, able, we'll be exercising that right. So <clears throat> we want to make sure that everybody sees this message and we want, we're working with the NAACP and Mi, Mi Familia. So thank you very much for all the effort. And um, Mayor, I will tell you that in the four weeks or more that these are gonna be up, there will be, it'll create 12.7 million market impressions. So <clears throat> it represents about a $35,000 donation to these groups to uh, get this message out. And we're happy, more than happy to do it for, for this effort. Thank you so much. Thank you, Commissioner Rodney Ellis, and thank you, uh, Lee Vela. And now let me bring on Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Mayor, thank you so very much, and thank you to uh, Commissioner Ellis. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you, Mickey, for those of us who had the privilege of being under his tutelage and knowing his heart. Uh, this is something that he would celebrate. Uh, let me thank uh, our neighbor to the north, Mr. Bush. Let me thank Lee Vella, who I think has been at the uh, cutting edge of social programs and information for many years. Uh, I think he did something with me on gangs and knowing how important uh, parks are. So I'm glad to be at home with Mayor Turner. Thank you. Um, and uh, the council members and, of course, um, I want to thank VOTA and the NAACP for what they have done. Uh, Councilman Poland and Councilmember uh, Shabazz, thank you so very much. Uh, this is more than important, it is significant. There are frightened people about voting, Mayor. Uh, they're frightened because they have adhered to your early messages. They're at home. Uh, they have done their work at home. Uh, they have not come out, and now they know of the importance of the civic duty that they have. I just came off of a two-hour call with members from around the nation, members of Congress, Speaker Pelosi, and the main topic was voting and voting potentially by mail. And I'm glad that this billboard just says to the NAACP and VOTA, it just says vote. So we, Bishop Dixon, are going to have our work cut out for us. My message is that the federal government has a responsibility of protecting the vote. And however this community chooses to do so, uh, Commissioner Ellis has made it very clear that he's looking to streamline and be effective. But here's what we want to offer. Uh, we want the 
HEROES bill to pass because we want to provide $25 billion loan to the Postal Service. It's important for people to know it is a loan because they've been characterized as a business. Because right now, our postal workers have been denied overtime. And that is impacting our Social Security, but it is going to impact our votes. So we want to provide that $25 billion, and we also want to take a suggestion of drop boxes for mail ballots so that people are not frightened. They can go safely to a drop box, and then procedures can be in place for those mail ballots to be picked up. We want to do everything we can to follow Mickey Leland's change attitude. He did work for change. I'm privileged to have been able to be tutored by him. And he has a legacy of voting because he lived through and before the 1965 Voting Rights Act. He lived before he could get to the state legislature because of the Voting Rights Act. He lived before anyone went to the United States Congress because the Voting Rights Act was not in place. So today, I believe there are two things that we must focus on. A thank you, um, a message of hope from Mickey Leland, uh, and the idea that our voting has to be allowed in all forms and that we must support the Postal Service and pass the HEROES bill along with the money for the mayor's uh, public funding, not for him personally, to shore up city services. $175 billion for schools, and to continue our testing. And that's what I think Mickey Leland has stood for. His change is for the better. And we're going to continue to work for you to get out there and vote in whichever form you choose to do so. Thank you very much. Thanks, Congresswoman. Uh, Bishop James Dixon, representing the NAACP. Thank you, Mayor Turner. It's an honor to be here today in the Legacy Room, and I think it's appropriate that we're in the Legacy Room talking about the legacy of George Mickey Leland. To our Congresswoman and to our Councilwoman and all who assembled today, my colleagues of the NACP and from VOTA and Commissioner Lee, thank you so very much for your stalwart leadership. Uh, Ellis, I said Lee. Uh, well. <laughs> Well, when you're working in Houston, you're under Sheila Jackson lives some sort of way. But we are thankful to God for Commissioner Ellis's uh, bold work uh, on making sure that the, the legacy of Mickey Leland continues and his partnership with the city and the mayor is just stalwart. Let me be very brief and concise. Uh, I'll never forget one Thursday afternoon, Mickey Leland sat me down outside of the Four Seasons and had a 45 minute conversation with me about leadership and about serving. I never thought that that would be the last conversation we would have. But he talked to me about leading and change. And at that time, our church was a little wood frame building. I didn't have four or 5,000 people. But he said to me, you're the future. And I'll never forget that as long as I live. Today, as I stand here in this legacy room with you, I owe a debt of gratitude to his legacy for not only challenging me, but charging me and believing that every coming generation would be responsible for continuing the values and the ideals that makes our country great and our city and county great. And voting is certainly at the center of that. Today, as Allison Leland has worked with Commissioner Ellis and others, isn't it amazing that she can see that her husband did not die in vain? As we continue this message, we must, and I want to thank you, Lee, because the message must be visual, it must be verbal, and it must be vociferous. We must all engage in freeing people from all forms of voter suppression and reminding every citizen in America, in this county, in this state, this city, that your vote is powerful, whether you're in Fifth Ward or River Oaks, whether you're in Acres Homes or Sunnyside, every vote counts because every person counts. And greatness, like Mickey Leland, is not simply being popular, it's being powerful enough to make change happen. And there's no greater way to do it in the name of democracy than to vote. Thank you, Mayor, for hosting us on today.
Thanks, Bishop. Now let me bring on Angelica Rasa with Mi Familia Vota. Good afternoon. I'll make my remarks in English and then in Spanish. My name is Angie Raza. I'm the Texas State Director for Mi Familia Vota, and it's such a thrill to be up here with community leaders and elected officials that are just as passionate as we are about getting our Harris County residents out to vote. All elections are important, but the one in November is particularly important and personal. COVID-19 has really disproportionately impacted our community through economic loss, family loss, and heartbreak. So we know that voting is just an opportunity to make sure that we're electing folks that are committed to protecting our communities through this pandemic and beyond this pandemic. We also understand that if you are too young to vote or you're not a US citizen, you're still an essential part to our democracy. And I highly encourage you to use your powerful voice, story, and experience to get those out around you to come out and vote this November. Mi Familia Huerta looks forward to working with our local officials and our community partners and ensure that every person that wants to vote in November can do so and they have the appropriate information, resources, and methods to do so in a safe and healthy manner in a way that fits them. If you have questions about voter registration or election information, I encourage you to call our hotline, which is 1-833-268-2667 or 1-833-VOTAMOS. So let's continue the legacy that Mickey Leland left behind for us and continue to work together to make sure that our communities are thriving in a beautiful Harris County and country that we've elected. Mi nombre es Angelica Razo, soy la directora estatal de Mi Familia Vota en Texas. Es un, siempre es un placer de estar aquí con mis colegas y también líderes de la comunidad que, que comparten esa misma pasión para involucrar nuestra comunidad en las votaciones. Todas las elecciones importan, pero la de noviembre es especialmente importante y también personal. El COVID-19 ha traído mucho dolor a nuestra comunidad a través de um, pérdidas económicas, pero también de nuestros miembros de familia y amigos. Votar en noviembre es una oportunidad para elegir candidatos que, que están comprometiendo a proteger nuestras familias y nuestra comunidad durante la pandemia, pero ta también uh, después de la pandemia. Si usted no puede votar porque no tiene la edad o por su estatus migratorio, todavía es una parte esencial para nuestra democracia. Y le animo que usted use su voz y su historia y su experiencia a sacar a su, a su familia y amigos a votar este noviembre. Mi familia vota, va a continuar a trabajar con, con nuestros elegidos y nuestros, uh, nuestros líderes comunitarios para asegurarnos que cada persona que quiere votar en noviembre lo pueda hacer de una manera que es, que es segura y saludable para ellos. Debemos que continuar la, 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 el, el legado que dejó Miquelina y trabajar juntos para crear una nación y una comunidad donde todos pueden prosperar. Gracias. Thank you, Angel. And in essence, uh, Angel was saying it's important to get out and vote. And if you have any questions, please contact me for media, a voter, and they'll be able to, uh, to address your concerns. All right. Uh, before we turn to the COVID update, are there any questions as it relates to uh, uh, the billboards that are going up, the importance of voting? Any questions to any of these individuals as it relates to uh, voting? Anything? Okay. All right, thank you all so very much. I'm sorry? Congresswoman, I'm sorry. 